Video game addiction took away all my dreams and almost destroyed my entire life. Two thousand four December Christmas time. I remember I was in eighth grade. I remember at the time I had seen my next door neighbor playing video games all the time, and at this time I was pretty healthy. I was a kid that was out there doing activities and doing all this stuff, and then I saw this game, and there was something that like allured me to it. Maybe it was because a mentor was doing, maybe because someone I was looking up to. I didn't have a great example in my life, and I remember putting it in my Christmas list, and I got everything that year. And what's so interesting is that I almost forgot. That I put that game on the list. It was the end of the day. I got my guitars. I got all these things. I was so happy about. And then my mom ended up going above and beyond, which is amazing that she did this. And I love my mom. Yet she ended up giving me something that almost destroyed my entire life, and consistently tempts me still to this day. I remember getting that game, and she came out and, and gave it to me. And I just remember it being this escape. I remember going into high school that year, and I was only 99 pounds. I was one of the youngest kids, the smallest kids, and my family was going through issues. Just felt like I was always tempted by that game. I was always tempted. My dad was a disciplinarian in my life, and I was only allowed to play the game a few hours a day. I just, I was just pouring my life into it and put me into a very vulnerable spot where I was almost like sabotaging my life. My family was seeing that I was becoming too addicted to this game. I wasn't going outside. I wasn't spending time with people, and I was investing all my time into the game. And as my family started almost trying to help me, trying to help me get out of that type of situation, it felt like they were attacking me. And it pushed me deeper and deeper into this rut, to the point where it got me to start gaining weight. I remember I was eating terrible food. I wasn't moving. I was addicted to the game. When I say addicted, I was playing about, on average, about eight hours a day. Every single day, I was playing from 3 p.m. to 12:30 in the morning. And every single day during the summer, I consistently didn't see people. And it actually reminded me of this because it's hot outside in San Diego right now. I hated heat. I hated summer, and I hated San Diego. I hated the thought of having to go outside and the insecurities that I had. I hated the thought of going on vacations. I hated the thought of hanging out with family, because not only did it make me feel insecure because of my body and the the weight that I had gained and the addiction, and the further I went down that road, the harder it was to come out of it. It felt like the further and further that I, the more overweight I got, the more disapproval that I got, the more time that I spent, the more white and pale that I got, the more it was harder and harder to get outside of that addiction. I remember self-sabotaging. My dad trying to come over and, and knock on my mom's door, and consistently we just wouldn't answer. I remember it was time for me to go out and hang out with my dad, and, and he had times and hours with me because I was still in high school, and I would stay up the entire night so anxious that I wasn't going to be able to play the game. That I would stay up the whole night beforehand and sabotage the whole thing. I'd pass out the next day because I physically couldn't keep myself awake from playing multiple days. I would consistently play from Friday. To Sunday, so this wasn't your average. I'm going to go out there and play some video games, turn it on for an hour, and turn it off. But it also wasn't one of those things where I would have said I was addicted. It was something where I just thought that I had nothing better to do. And the harder and harder it became, the more that I gained weight, the more insecure that I became, the more I ran to it, the more I hated the the weather outside, the more I hated opportunity around me. And every single time, again, when people would try to pull me out and help me out, it always seemed like they were attacking me. It always felt like they were judging me, and it always feels like I had no approval. And what I have for some of the people out there that may be struggling with some type of video game addiction, almost took my whole life. It took away my vision. I wanted to be a professional athlete.、It、took away all of that. I put all my time into a video game and stopped caring about my dreams. I was doing well in school. I graduated with a 1.8 GPA, all because of video games. I couldn't even. I used it as an excuse not to even go out there and and play sports. I kept my grade point average down, so I didn't have something to push me out. It ruined my relationship with my family, my father. It gave me something to run away from and run into. Something that gave me instant gratification. It ruined my fitness and my life and my confidence. I started limiting the vision of my life based on what I could see for myself because of the weight that I had gained. And almost took away all my visions for my life. I really had no reason to live anymore, besides just to play that game. What I could say for you guys, one of the biggest things that helped me was that I started taking opportunities to invest in myself to be able to gain that confidence back. In the first place, I started investing for myself was in me, was in my health, and I had a transformation where something just shifted. And I took action on it, and it felt like it was going to take so long to get out of this addiction. It felt like I was never going to get that life back. It felt like I wasn't even that kid anymore. It felt like I was in this fat suit, this fat body, and this addiction that everyone was looking at me like I was this 
different person. But inside, I'm like, man, no, I'm this kid who's athletic and has dreams, but like it wasn't aligning anymore. And I ended up losing a few pounds in two weeks and started feeling the confidence. And that gave me the confidence to go out there and connect with a few friends again, to get outside of the house. It gave me the confidence again to go out there and reconnect with my father. And more opportunities started coming. And as I started getting a glimpse again of this life that I had ran away from, it started re getting me to realize that there was actually so much more to live for. That I was actually going for this artificial fake world because I was running away from pain and I ran into this new world that I thought was gonna be so much better. And I became so immersed in this world of addiction and doing what was easy and comfortable and giving up on life that I had forgotten what the real thing felt like. It's almost like if you were to be in outer space for so long eating out of those tubes for food, that you eat them so long that you forget what food actually tastes like. And going back into the real world was almost like being able to taste food again. I started going out there and getting into the sun, started talking with people again. I started surfing. And what was so interesting though is that because it was such a big addiction for me, I remember actually losing weight, getting out of my addiction, going out there, gaining like a whole new life, getting fit, losing 60 pounds. I remember going back to my room one day and I saw my computer there and all the video games that I had. And I just thought for a second, let me just see what it would be like. And think about how many things that you feel like are an addiction. Usually I know an addiction from something that I do and I feel worse after I do it. And something that continually beckons me in where I wanna sabotage other things. I didn't wanna, I would miss vacations, not hang out with family, not because I didn't want to, but because I was so afraid to be away from this thing. I couldn't imagine life without it. And typically I know if it's a bad addiction by how I feel afterwards, kinda like food. If you were to eat food and feel bad, all of a sudden you're like, man, like that, that makes me feel bad after I do it. This must not be that good for me. I remember getting back on the game and all of a sudden 20 days went by just like that. Didn't leave my house, didn't move and ate junk food. And luckily I had one person invite me out of the house, invite me on a trip to get me back out. And I just decided after that I was gonna delete that and I wasn't gonna go back to it. And on the other side of giving up an addiction, my whole life started to open up. I started having better habits. You can't just get rid of something that's an addiction. You can't just get rid of something in your life that, that's not beneficial. It always takes replacing it with something better. And what I didn't know is that I was gonna give up something and it was gonna be replaced by something that was gonna be better. Meaning I get, got rid of something that was good and it got replaced with something that was great. And if it wasn't for that moment, I would have my dreams would have been destroyed, my life would have been destroyed, my family, future family, I'm wearing a best dad shirt right now with my son that's four months old. And it would never, never happen if I wouldn't have just made that decision to invest in myself, to transform myself first, get the confidence, get myself out of an artificial world and into the real world. Well, all of a sudden the dreams were awakened. Most people would say that one of the most wealthy places in the world is a graveyard because it's where everyone's dreams and ambitions go and they die and they go unfulfilled. Don't allow that to be you. You have dreams. Maybe there were dreams in the past. Maybe you have dreams now. Maybe you've relapsed into things inside of quarantine or inside of a time where you're stuck inside and you're not able to do the regular things and you fell back into something that you would call an addiction, you would call a bad habit. Today's the time to make a decision to do something that's gonna give you the confidence to move forward. Do something to put yourself out there that feels uncomfortable. Surround yourself with people that can push you to be better. Don't take it as something that they're fighting. They're fighting to attack you, but they're actually trying to raise you up. You have it with inside of you. I was a 60 pound overweight, 1.8 GPA, playing video games for 12, 16 hours a day, playing video games from Friday to Sunday. You can ask my mom, completely addicted to now building a multi-million dollar business, being on the cover of multiple magazines, featured in Forbes and Entrepreneur without paying for them, being able to impact and reach millions of people over the world, and kept your attention on this video for this long. So I appreciate you. I would love to know, what's something that you've had a breakthrough in? Have you felt the feelings of addiction, and how did you overcome them to maybe help some other people down in the comments?